All right, let me start by saying I do not like Fusion Strike. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. So why am I sitting on 10 trainer boxes? Let's go ahead and get them open. This is PA Pokemon Pools, and I'll tell you a story while I'm cracking open some cards. Story time. All right. As I said before, I really do not like Fusion Strike. I wouldn't say I hate it, okay? Because there are some good hits in there. Uh, a little earlier today, uh, just out of a random pack, I did pull the Celebi Old Art. It's a really nice card. There's a few nice ones that are in here, but it's off-centered to crap, right? So, like, the top is off-centered, real thin, the bottom's real thick. However, the reason that I'm sitting on this much Fusion Strike is because of... If you're familiar with the Vault Squad, uh, they have a Discord where they drop new deals that pop up on the internet all the time. Uh, ETB. Normally an ETB at Walmart, $44. You know, if you're lucky, some places are, uh, I want to say 40 you know, somewhere around there itself, actually. So, a thing pops up on, or a, a notification pops up on there saying that Best Buy is selling uh, Fusion Strike ETBs for about $15 a piece, right? So there's eight packs of cards in these, right? I personally think I should have bought more. So I, I wasn't thinking it was midnight. My brain wasn't working. I bought 10 boxes, right? 100, 150, 160 bucks after taxes, we'll say, right? Um, not a bad option. Uh, I definitely should have bought more, actually, to tell you the truth. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna be burning through these and talking at the same time. Uh, but I'm kind of under speculation. So here's the thing: if, if you guys been keeping up with Pokemon news, which if you're watching the channel, you probably do. Uh, there was a factory, and it wasn't it was in the U.S. that had a huge table full of hits from Pokemon packs, uh, pretty much. All fusion strike hits, a lot of uh, a lot of evolving skies hits, right? We're talking like hundreds of them, right? So clearly, the people at the factory decided one day that they're gonna just pull all the good cards out. Don't know how, don't know why, don't know the logistics of a factory when it comes to making cards, and then take them all out. So I'm thinking the reason that this hype went down, or these packs went down to less than two dollars a pack um i think that's why i want to say it's how you true and i'll tell you reason reasoning you know i've, I've just opened four, probably four or five packs i got nothing i got nothing nothing out of these at all i don't understand it they're, they're so painful to open nobody really opened the set i was around when when fusion came out um however Brilliant Stars was a little bit more appealing to me. So, so it's just a card, if you get a hit, it's like a V Bolt, Bolt Hound card. Like, literally nothing. Um, and here's here's what really helped with, I'm sorry, not evolving side, but Brilliant Stars. Here's what happened with Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars had a trainer gallery. So the chances of you getting some pretty good pools that are cool cards were pretty high. Um, this, these, don't get me wrong, I seem real loose. These don't have bad cards in them. But uh, there's something. There's a full art right out of the gate. The cheapest full art you can ever purchase. <laughs> so that's our Santa Conda. So we're going to get that one sleeved up there. Um, but these ones, I don't know. What, I'm not, I should be super excited about that. However, I mean, it's only, literally probably only like a 15, 10 or $15 card. Uh, but where I'm going with this is there's really nothing that good in these. It's really not. Is that a texture? No, that's not textured. That one's textured though, so eh, we'll hard show that one. So, got two old arts. Celebi today and then uh, Santa Conda. Two of the cheapest ones. However, we didn't spend much on these at all. So, I mean, I really personally think that for this deal, I, I couldn't pass it up. You know, I knew, I know people that bought 75 of these boxes. I probably should have, honestly, to tell you the truth. Because once I get these graded, well, if I get anything, right, besides the <laughs> Santa Conda, 
Um, oh, I'm gonna pay. It's gonna pay themselves off essentially. So not a bad, uh, not a bad option. Of course, they, so that's a really nice looking Arcanine actually. So I haven't opened these. So I haven't. I actually haven't seen a lot of these cards, honestly, to tell you the truth. I opened one here and there out of a out of some kind of collection box or something of that nature, but you know, I'm no, normally not expecting anything out of them, honestly, to tell you the truth. All right, there's a code card. You guys are gonna get a lot of code cards today. We're looking at freaking 80 packs. 80 packs of fusion. It's two, and I need two, and like I said, I'm not, I'm not a marketing genius or anything of that nature, but it's two pink and purple, which, you know, is Mew and, uh, and Gengar. I understand they're trying to push those guys, but geez, oh man, you saw the wall. Nobody would ever have that kind of decoration up. Unless you had a million packs of uh, Fusion Strike. So yeah, not bad. Like I said, I'm going to burn through these actually pretty quick. We're not going to do any kind of card tricks or anything on it today, just for the sake of time. I'm going to go hold you guys hostage. I don't know personally how long it's going to take to open up 80 packs, but I appreciate everybody hanging out. There we go. We got ourselves a Cinderace VMAX. Don't have that one. Again, there's a lot of these cards I actually don't have, but... Oops. No. Bump the camera. That's textured. We'll go ahead and put a sleeve on it. I should just sleeve these all at the end. But, I don't know. The fact that these were 15 bucks, I, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to look at gift, court, gift horse in the mouth. You guys get to see Fusion Strike, which not a lot of people open it. And if they do, it's only like two or three at a time. Nothing too special. Corviknight. Yeah, see, I like that art. Actually, I like that Yvaltal Yv art, too. Yeah, see, like I said, some of these cards are super nice. But, yeah, really crappy hits out of a pretty good amount of packs. <coughs> Now there were there were situations going on in Canada where people were getting God boxes, so they were buying the booster boxes and pulling out a whole oh, here we go whole bunch of hits. I know I do have that one. Whole bunch of hits left and right. I mean we're talking like twenty hits out of out of out of thirty six packs, and they were all like full arts and gold and oh actually these do have rainbows too, and I am. Starting a little bit of a collection for rainbow cards. But honestly, I'm trying to think of you know cards I'm going for. Of course, Gengar, you know, that's gonna be gonna be the main main draw of this set itself, but other than that, off the top of my head, I really can't think of any other cards I want. And that's kinda cool because then if I see one that I really like, then I'm surprised about it. I'm not just like Punching myself in the face by opening up Fusion Strike all day. All right, Schmeargle, Latios. Man, I feel like I haven't even put a dent in this stuff yet. All right, we'll try to speed it up a little bit here. Huh, need to sharpen this a little bit better. Let's go ahead and uh, cut a card in half. Okay, there is a just a regular non-textured Mu V. Pretty good amount of V cards coming out of these. Not too thrilled about that. These are all in kind of a mixed up, mixed up type of order, so I'm not going per you know per ETB what we're gonna get out of these. But like I said, for the deal, I mean you really you can't pass that up, honestly. That's probably one of the better better options out there to open up this, but I'm seeing why people don't buy it, man. Like, it's uh, definitely pretty painful. Alright, code card. Hey, there we go. Rainbow card. Schoolgirl. That's creepy. Alright, so we'll add that to the pile with the rainbow cards. Pretty good amount of those. I don't know if I hard shelled these or not. Pretty sure I did. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now I think about it, my box with all the rainbow cards is actually right 
behind me here. Uh, yeah, I did for shovel. Oh, knocking me over. Not so excited I got a rainbow car and I had a heart attack. Uh, let's see. Rainbow. Yeah. <sighs> Try to keep some kind of organization going on here, which gets a little out of control here if you don't do anything about it. So definitely keep it on. Oh, there's the cap. All right, that made for bad video. You're welcome. All right, let's keep these, keep the opening rolling. All right. Code card, fusion strike, and Grim Snarl. Nothing good. Well, that one was open right the heck up. Didn't need no scissors on that guy. All right, Drapey. And a rare Cinder Scorch. Stacks are getting high here. We're gonna have to probably put some in a box. Because if I knock over a stack of cards, like I just beat up the camera there. Then here's the code card. Nothing. Yeah, this is painful. <laughs> I'm definitely seeing why uh, well, these don't fly off the shelf. Another one, you know, and I hope they, I hope they do this. The Chilling Rain. There are some old arts in Chilling Rain that I do want. So hopefully they do that there. But I mean, again, I'm really not willing to pay to to beat myself up. Not get anything great at all. There we go. Much of, too many stacks going on here. Like I said, speaking of rearrange, I do need to rearrange again, like I said, the office, so have some kind of room for breathing here. I don't know how guys do it that sit there and open card packs for four or five hours at a time. All right, Landris, nothing. So, but let me know what you guys would do. You know, like, like I said, if you've seen a deal like this, and it's definitely worth jumping on. I mean, essentially, one card could pay for the whole kit and caboodle. That one doesn't want to come apart there. Looks like a V card, anyways. Nothing worth writing home about. V card. Cool looking card, but a V card. Nonetheless, that one actually didn't. Maybe I'm drunk. I don't know. I feel like that one didn't have a code card. Oh, yeah, these are ripping. Of course, rip it open extremely obnoxiously opening up, but. Oh, that's another thing I didn't pay attention to. Whether these had the new or the old code cards on it. Looks like the new. Yeah, it definitely is. There's your Steelix. Didn't realize my camera got all wonka dude. There's a code card. Defender. He's very popular in the new uh, Scarlet and Violet set for some weird reason. They really am, or gave him all kinds of cards. Alright, there's a code. And Snom and Moetta. Well, I don't want to open either. I had to wait a while for these though. I'm gonna say probably about eight or nine days for them to get into the get into the Best Buy. And then maybe Best Buy was trying to make a determination whether they should cancel the orders or not. I kinda kinda feel like it wasn't uh sale wasn't on purpose. Either that or they just got a lot of them and didn't want to be sitting on them all. One of the two. Alright. Good card. Dear Lord, this is painful. <laughs> so, I figured out of any packs we get something. Maybe. Possibly. Probably not. 
still got still got a heck of a ways to go. I apologize for the long video here. And you guys get to witness the punishment. The punishment that they call Fusion Strike. Or Fusion Strike Out. I believe I heard that called that a couple times. I want to say, like I said, Rattle, Rattle was opening some. and I don't think he had very good luck opening, opening these either, so... A little nostalgic though, right? These have, uh, he's got yellow borders, right? Remember back in the day? Before Scarlet and Violet, we had yellow borders. Well, something, huh? All right. Boy, this is terrible. <laughs> Again, chilling rains like this, but man, there's payoff in chilling rain, you know? I mean, at least they didn't do... At least this isn't... Uh, oh, shoot. What's the name of it? Friggin' Rebel Clash, though, you know. Oh, I got something here. All right, let's see. Probably something stupid. Let's find out if it's stupid or not. Oh, it's stupid. There we go. Cinderace V. Love the V cards. Can't imagine my life without them. Or without garbage. I mean, I tell you what, I hope these are made of all recyclable materials. I'm not sure about the packaging for each pack. If not, they probably should. This printing Fusion Strike is really just hurting the environment and my heart at the same time. All right, so we got Dancer and Blissey. Like I said, got two. I got two all arts today. Yeah, I ain't gonna complain. You know, I I honestly wouldn't even say it even come close to paying off, paying off eighty packs. But I think even when they're graded too, I might be wrong on that one though. I might be wrong, but grading. I don't think grading's gonna happen with that that off center. Maybe I can get an OC grade for it from PSA. Everybody loves PSA, even though I'm a CGC member. What do you guys use? You say PSA, you're incorrect. Yeah, this is definitely a longer video. Again, sorry, I apologize. That is such a nice looking night. Look at that. Look at that freaking dog. I would pet the shit out of that dog. Why don't they give Ninetales a, 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 a full art card, right? Seems like a good idea. I like Ninetales. I would pet the shit out of them. I'd pet the shit out of Stuffle too. I don't care. Give them good hits. Give them good cards. Not just bulk. What do they do? The new Pokemon for Scarlet and Violet. Mouse, Mouse Karata. Not, not too cool. Not too cool. Quaxley, I think, is the other one. Freaking Quaxley. What a dumb name. Ooh, oh, can't tell. We may have something here. Well, let's find out. Uh, it's probably another V card. Oh, yay. Yay. You know what? Let's get two Bolt Hound Vs. This is a V card party right here. Holy guacamole. I'd like to say we're about halfway done, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I, lost, I lost count. Just trying to throw these open real quick. So we're not sitting here for 37 hours making a video today. Got stuff to do. Got stuff to do. Alright. Let's go ahead and pop that one there. All right, there's your code card. Survey says nothing. Oh, that's another thing too. Uh, Genesect is a, is a very inexpensive old art in these packs too. So watch me get that. That'll be something, huh? All right. 
There's your code card. Eight more, huh? And there's Galarian Obstagoon. Kind of looks like my dog. One of them. One of them. Alright. One code card. Galarian Obstagoon again and Clay Doll. See, that pack just, that was loose, that was a loosey-goosey. I'm just saying, not guaranteeing that it came from that factory, but, man, I sure as heck hope it didn't. We'll put it that way. All right, Growlithe and Cinder Scorch. All righty, well, let's see if that one opens. Nope, that one doesn't open as easy as the other ones do. Hey, whoa. Look at that. That was weird. I wonder if all of them are like that. Had like a little opening opening slot put into it. Interesting. Uh, or Corio. Huh, let's see. That was in the front. Nah, that was just a fluke. Just a fluke. Alright, good card. Cards gonna stick together. Hey, that's fishy. Yeah, let's just put that back the way that it was. Something's fishy. Hold on, we're gonna go through each one of these. I know. Make a longer video, right? Why not? Toxic Pro. Energy. Torpedo. The Sharpedo are rare. And then there's a nice nine tails. Yeah, that's a weird one. That is a weird one, kids. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, ten cards. Huh. That one just seemed a little out of order. Oh, now, now I'm going to start to worry. Now I'm going to start to think that Pokemon's against me. I do, they do feel super, super easy to open. I ain't going to, I ain't going to lie about that. I ain't going to lie. Oh, okay. Here we go. And full art. Very cool. Trust Arena, huh? That's a better texture card. We'll get that in a sleeve there. I don't even think they have an alt art of that card, actually, but they do have a full art. Uh, Cinderace, same. I don't think they do with Cinderace, either. Alright, my chair keeps rubbing up against stuff here. Alright. Alright, pretty interesting opening, right? Sorry. This is 80 packs. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, nothing out of that one. All right, now I would say we're probably about a little more than halfway, halfway through now. So far, no good. Thinking this probably wasn't the best idea, but I know a lot of people were probably either sitting on them for a long time and they're gonna sell. <laughs> That's really cool, Wiggly Tough. He's like crocheted. Uh, sitting on them for a long time, but we're trying to get rid of them ASAP to, to double up some cash there, but I don't know. I want to open them. I haven't, I haven't opened very much Fusion. Pretty good opportunity to open a bunch of these. Why not? And I see why I don't do it. All right. move on to the next one here so pools wise one two three four five 
six, nine, this is about eight or nine. Eight or nine out of these so far. Probably better off with booster boxes, but I'm not paying for one of those suckers. All right, Swampert. It's a regular hollow. Okay, old Bolton. Bolt Hound. Good card. Clay Doll, everybody's favorite clay main Pokemon. Actually, one of the new sets in the uh, in Japanese is Clay Burst and Snow Hazard. I wonder if Clay Doll has a big part in that because everybody loves loves Clay Doll. Right, here we go. So so far not good. Kind of thought this was gonna be uh, gonna be worth it, but I bought worse. I bought worse. Luxray. I don't know. Maybe the ones that were going to Best Buy were uh, were blanks. There's Alyssa. Alyssa Sparkle. Her name is. Alisa. See, look how cool that, look how cool that Marpaco is. Are you for real? All right, looks like we got something out of this one here too. Uh, this appears to be another V card, Chandelure V. In case you need more Chandelures in your life. All right, move on down to a couple stacks here. It's pretty fun to open cards with this. I ain't gonna lie. I do enjoy this. Even though she's a strike. Oh, another another V card. Oh, Relaboot. We didn't have that V card yet. There we go. Another V card in the world. Paldea, Paldea Evolve comes out here. Uh, about two to three weeks. Some people were saying that it was ending up on uh, target shelves a little bit early. I personally haven't seen that. That's not the kind of luck I have. I think the only time that I had any kind of luck with finding anything early, there's a Butterfree. It's a pretty shiny one. Um, was Astral Radiance, I think. Was showing up at uh, Sheets Gas Station. I don't know if wherever you guys are from, if you have one of those there. I do put them up there. But they were, <laughs> they were ringing out for $6 a piece. I don't know if it's because they were at the con uh, convenience factor going on or, or what the heck the deal was, but that was complete garbage. I want to say I bought maybe one or two just to kind of crack them open and see. Got a nice shout out on another YouTuber. YouTuber's channel because they're due to find a nose, so that's pretty... Pretty much a nice little pat on the back, so I was happy about that. And it wasn't that YouTuber. It wasn't a pat's on back YouTuber. Uh, another thing, I'm kind of up in the air on Card Party. That's coming up here in a few weeks. And they've invited a lot of people that don't get along with each other. <laughs> so, so I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious on what's going to go on. A lot of YouTube people... And to bicker back and forth. Yeah, you know, of course it gets them views, so they're gonna do stuff like that, but I just feel like a lot of people should just kinda sit back and let the world go be uh Switzerland, like I say. There's a code card. Yeah, tell me tell me if you guys uh, are, are pretty sad for me. <laughs> These are pretty Pretty crappy, pretty crappy cards. Do not, I probably wouldn't recommend Open Infusion Strike. I see why, I see why some of the hits are so expensive in there. Because people put themselves through the ringer trying to pull specific cards, man. So look at that big chunk taken out of that. And we know it's a black card too, so how about it? Uh, probably another V card. Dear Lord. Another Chandelure. 
yeah so when we're done we'll do a little we'll do a little recap here and I'll show you show you why this isn't a fun experience to open these Right. Gift card, or there's that code card. It was a gift card because we don't give away gift cards. Uh -oh. All right. Let's see. Jesus. I had to work at that one. There's your code card and toxicity. This is our rare. Getting down to a couple more stacks here. I really hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm really not. <laughs> However, what I will enjoy is if you guys could smash those buttons. I'm gonna get to a thousand. I wanna do a celebrations opening. And a thousand. I have a celebration UPC. I've been kind of itching the crack open. The only reason being for that would be I do want to get my little Charizard created. Let's see exactly if it looks like shit or not. Because I've been told that a lot of those come out of those boxes kind of beat up. So I'm kind of worried about the contents of that guy. Arcanine. All right, last couple stacks here. Yeah, I think Fusion Strike is going to be a hard sell later on, too. Um, I think a lot of people keep stuff sealed. I think because of the controversy that went around the factory that was stealing all the arts out of there. Oh, and how they got caught, they actually tried to sell them all. All pretty much at one time to a card shop that's affiliated with the Pokemon Play program. So they kind of they turned them in, and then actually all the all the auto arts got confiscated, but not before they didn't hit the packs. So I don't know. This just seems strange to me. They like said lots of E cards, but not really much anything else. Who knows? This is this could be this could be just how Fusion Strike is. Honestly, to tell you the truth, so I mean, when it comes down to it, it's just the luck of the draw. All right, and Meloetta, a lot of those. She's in the set a pretty good amount. That one opened right up. Toodle. Oyster and a Luxray. It's rare there. All right, a few more, a few more stacks here. I was excited to do this. Oh, okay, got something there. We got uh, <laughs> our buddy Bolt Hound again. They're full. Cool art of Bullhound. I mean, it is a cool looking card. He looks like a good boy. Ain't gonna complain. There we go. So three textures. Not bad, not bad. Actually, technically four. All right. Maybe it's heating up, huh? Maybe Bullhound's gonna give us some, some good luck today. Cause that's how Pokemon cards pack should at, should should open, right? Well, we already know there's clearly nothing in this <laughs> this one there. There's your code card. You gonna double check? Bloop. A whole lot of nothing. That's the white code card situation. So if you have a white code card in this or chilling rain, you're guaranteed to win absolutely nothing at all. Okay, this yeah, this one is a black code card, so we know we got something out of there. Ooh, is it another V card? I bet you it is. 
There we go. Oh, didn't have that one. Great. All right, another, v, another wor worthless V card. That'll work. <laughs> I literally think I pulled every V card out of this. I don't think there's any more. Multiples of some. I have Bolt Hound and Chandelure. There's that. Let's see if it's true. Should be nothing in here. Boom, nothing. Probably thinking based off of the length of this video, I probably should have. Probably should have. Uh, split this up. To be honest. Not a V card. Duro. Do duo. Wait, that's not something to check that. That's a. Togumaru. Alright, couple more packs, guys. We are good, so. Yeah, this is like a this is like a severe beating. I feel like I can honestly still say that I do not like fusion strikes. I can still say it. I don't hate it. I just don't like it very much. Not seeing eye and eye. Snubble. Well, I guess, uh, what's his face? Rattle opened about 200 packs and didn't end up with what he was looking for either. So I guess we're all in the same boat. And by choice, we got a good deal. Some fun for a cheap price. There's code card. Eh, plus, you guys are getting a lot of code cards for for the online game, too. So, good. Good, good, good. That helps you guys out. And we're down to a few more. That's a white code card. Didn't mean to spoil that one. Ew, look at the off-centering on that one. Woof. Man, that was a white card card in that situation. Alright. I do again, I do say, say that I want to open some more Lost Origins, so I'm going to be hunting down some some LO. See if I can find that at a reasonable reasonable pricing instead of buying it from GameStop for inflated prices. I do want Giratina. Pretty sure I'm not gonna open any more fusion strike like this ever again. But I can, well, let's see look at that. I didn't even have that one. Never even had that one that star week. Look at that. There's so many cards in the set as I punched the camera right in the face. I want to say that's what the issue is with this. There's just so many cards now I think about it. Well, we're going to take a look. We're going to take a look on old Snubble here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, of 264. So, yeah, it's a pretty good amount of... Uh, pretty Too many cards in the set. I, I think that's really what the issue was happening or going on here. I think this is one of the bigger sets, so... But, yeah, other than that, guys, a uh, very long video. I apologize. Uh, really appreciate you guys if you stuck around. Got a little boring. Ain't gonna lie. Didn't really get anything out of this real good. But, again, still some time spent together, you know? So, do me a favor. Smash all the buttons. Let me know what you think of the opening here. Uh, pretty sure I already know. No, very good. Uh, just to go over, just to, we'll do a, we'll do a quick little recap here. So we got ourselves. Uh, well, I guess I can give these away. So we got ourselves V card, V card, V card. Every single V known to man from Fusion Strike we got. So there you go. Uh, our our reasonable hits. Probably these three guys here. So we got we got Bolt Hound, uh, Teresina. Full art and then Cinderace V Max. 
And however, I ain't gonna lie, we did pull this anaconda, um, but uh, nobody wants it. So again, guys, this is PA Pokemon Pulls. Thank you guys very much for watching uh, uh, Mount Mew. So appreciate it. Have yourselves a good afternoon, guys.